just when you thought it was safe to go ahead and order a UV-17. Hello my friends, today we're going to see what is going on with this massive confusion with the UV-17 from Baofeng. There are so many models out there, it is becoming totally dizzying and a lot of people are getting scammed, a lot of people are not sure what they're getting. I personally wasn't exactly the same situation. When the 17 Pro GPS came out, I definitely wanted one airband. GPS, I'm not so sure about. I don't really use it, but I did want airband because I live close to an airport, so I wanted that capability. I want a multi-band. It was nice. It had that nice color screen, which was different. 99, 999 memories, 10 different banks where you could store different things. It was great. So I jumped on the bandwagon like everybody else, and I ordered one. What did I get? I got a UV-17, which is really just... Uh, UV 13 with a blue screen. That's the only thing. They actually work with the same CPS software. They they do exactly the same thing. Actually, this one has a better screen than that one. I, I don't particularly care for this bluish screen. Um, I like this screen better. It works better for me, but that's neither here nor there. Shortly after that, when I realized what happened, because I was sent that radio, and I was told that was it, I received it, and that was the Pro, which it wasn't, it was the UV-17. So I did, however, find a vendor who decided to actually be honest about what he was selling, and he sold me the UV-17 Pro with GPS, which has the full color screen, airband support, GPS, etc. Obviously, I ordered that. I did a review between the two, the differences between the two radios, the 17 and the 17 Pro GPS. I'll have a link below in the description for that previous video. But now, Baofeng Radio contacted me directly and sent me this radio and asked me to review it. Welcome. Channel mode. Yep. This is the UV-17R. So as you can see here, this one indicates that it is is a UV-17 and you can see that there is no FCC sticker on it, no indication for FCC approval of any kind. This one, on the other hand, you can see says UV-17 Pro and it does have an FCC ID on it. Now this is actually the 17 Pro GPS. This one is now rated and has its own number. Please focus for me. Come on. UV17R and it also has an FCC ID which interestingly enough it has the same FCC ID number as this radio. So all three are Baofengs, all three apparently are Fujian, Baofeng, Pofeng, same company names, but they have different labels on them. Again, another variation of the UV. There are so many different models I have seen between the user groups and everything else that we talk about. There's an L, there's an H, there's a Pro. There's a Pro without GPS. There's Unfortunately, there are a lot of vendors and sellers that are either intentionally or unknowingly mislabeling the radios when they're selling them, and a lot of people are falling prey to it. A lot of people are wanting the 17 Pro GPS, which is what most everybody's after, and we all end up getting just a plain 17, a 17L, a 17, all sorts of things going on. I read comments on the user groups and on my comments that are just a lot of people are upset, a lot of people are fr uh, frustrated. There's a lot of mistrust. Um, a lot of people don't know where to order, who to order from. Uh, I'm in the same boat. I order radios all the time. I get radios all the time. Now, 
Full disclosure, this was sent to me by Balfan Radio for a review. I did not pay for this radio, they sent it to me, and so I'm going to review it. Radio came in, standard packaging, I don't do unboxings. It does turn on that blue screen, but then when you turn it back on, what happens is you do get the dual, very nice number characters. You can save memories, so it's very legible as a screen. It's not like the original UV-17. It looks a lot more like the 17 Pro GPS. It has a nice two-color screen. This one came to me in black, which is nice. I've been wanting a black one, and all I could have been able to get has been the orange ones, or green, and I have too many green ones, and I didn't want any of those. So let's take a look at this radio. Um, this, again, is always labeled as an upgrade from the UV-5R. Yes, it is. It, it's definitely an upgrade <laughs> from that radio. It has much better quality audio. It's bigger in size. It has a much better feel in the hand. Uh, it has a better flashlight rather than that single little flashlight. This one has that nice dual flashlight on the bottom, which it doesn't affect it in any way. It'll still stand perfectly straight. Won't knock over or anything like that. It's a good solid wide base. Overall, it's a good feeling radio. I like the feel of the 17. I like the quality of the 17. Now, I'll be very honest. I don't have uh, spectrum analyzers that I can actually test these radios for transmission, for spurious transmissions. So anyone and everyone is welcome to pitch in. If you have that equipment, feel free to go ahead and, and test it. And you can comment here and add all to this so that we can all profit from this and get a better idea of what's going on. So, um, yes, 999 memories, definitely an upgrade from the UV-5R. Uh, that's a lot of memories. However, no banks. So, again, you're going to chunk 999 memories in here. You can put them in there. That'll be fine. What's interesting, though, is this radio, and this is the first one that I get from Baofeng, whether I purchased it or I got directly from Baofeng, is locked due to FCC requirements strictly to ham bands. So this radio will not work on GMRS, FRS, or anything like that. It cannot be unlocked. And I communicated with Baofeng and talked to them and asked them about it because I review my radios and a lot of my subscribers don't live in the U.S., so FCC regulations don't apply. And I usually like to test radios and see how they work on different frequencies. However, this one cannot be unlocked. I tried all the combinations that we know for all different radios to try and get it unlocked. Uh, pushing the button, uh, 3690, uh, pushing number 1, the menu button. And nothing works on this radio to unlock it. So I contacted Baofeng and I asked them and they said no due to FCC regulations and because they had problems in Europe where Baofeng was almost banned from importing radios this is actually locked in the firmware and unless the firmware can be changed it will remain locked. So again if anybody feels challenged and want to try and uh, unlock this radio it's up to you. The challenge is not from me, it's from Baofeng. One thing that kind of disappointed about this radio, the battery lost the USB capability, which is really odd because all the other previous 17s that I've received have had USB charging capability. I'll show you the clip in a comparison here between the radios. So this one no USB. This one has USB. Another thing which is very interesting is the batteries are exactly the same. So if you look, here's a battery. It has the same ratings on it, same numbers, BL17UV, 1800 milliamp hour, same as the one that came on the R, exactly the same. Well, until you turn it over. See this one has USB charging capability, has a USB port and a little LED to indicate what's going on. This one does not. 
same batteries on the one side, no USB charger. Power rating on these radios is pretty decent. It's pretty much standard Baofeng on everything which way you look at it. Um, I measured this at 4.8 watts on UHF and 6.3 watts on VHF, which is kind of impressive. So it does come out with a power. It works pretty good. Screen, again, is very nice, is very legible. Characters are nice, easy to see. Battery lasts a fairly long time, but that's standard on pretty much all the 17s that I've played with so far. All settings are easy to do. Unfortunately, none of the 17s can be programmed via Chirp as yet. So this one does have its own CPS version. It does not work with the same one as the 17, which works with the CPS from the 15, which is the same that works on the 13. This one will not work with the CPS for the Pro, and it will not work with the CPS for the regular 17s. Um, software is available on Miklor's site. Again, I'll have a link below to Miklor's site. You can find it there, and that's the one that's going to work with this radio. Um, and of course, Baofeng did send me uh, a link directly. Uh, actually, they, they, they mailed it to me. I got the CPS from them, but then again, I got it from McClure as well. So, overall, nice radio. If you're looking for a ham radio, it's very good. Uh, reception is good on it. Audio is clear on it. Uh, right now, I'm not going to test it on the air because of other radios I've got going on. So I'm not going to do a test on the air. But just be aware of what you're getting. With all so many 17s out there right now, uh, just know what you're going to get. Check your sellers and find out. Oh, yeah, the voice is different, too, on this one. There, there's a new lady now that talks to you on this one. It's kind of better than the old ones and certainly uh, a change from the Pro GPS. Well, I want to keep this short, folks. This is it. Just wanted to let you know what's going on with these radios. Uh, just, again, be aware of what you get. If you like this video, please, please uh, give it a like, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I will be giving away another free radio. Check my next radio, my next video for that. Well, thanks for watching.